Hey everybody, Patton here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play Sega 32X games on your mini system. Before we get started, a quick recap on how to mod your mini. You want to go to Hatchy CE and go to the kernel tab and click install repair. Click yes on the next window. Connect your mini system to your PC while holding reset, power it on, and Hatchy will do the rest. Once you see the green light in the bottom left corner, you're good to go. First step is to go to the modules tab and to the KMFD mod hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArc tab, select your version of RetroArc, then click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab, scroll down till you get to the Sega systems. Although we have a few here to choose from, the one we're looking for specifically for 32X games is Pico Drive. Highlight the core, then once again, Download Module. Close out the Mod Hub, go back to your Modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to Pico Drive and RetroArc. Then click OK at the bottom. Once everything's installed, you should get this done message. To add your games, just highlight them, drag them directly into Hackchi. Hackchi will automatically populate your box art description. Although Hackchi automatically changes your command line for you, you're going to have to change it again. To do that, highlight both your games, right click, and go to Select Emulation Core. In the next window, highlight your games again. Make sure Sega 32X is highlighted up here and then select Pico Drive Extreme in the bottom window, click Apply, and then Close. Once your command line is changed, the last step is to go to the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button at the bottom, or Export to USB if you're using external storage. I know there are some 32X Sega CD games out there, but unfortunately I don't have any experience with them, so I can't help you in how to get them to run. I would recommend either going to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server, or subreddit and somebody may be able to help you out there. And that's it, let's head over to the SNES Classic and take a look. First up we have Star Wars Arcade. Looks like it starts up fine. It's running very smooth. Graphics are really nice in this one. Next up we have Primal Rage, one of my favorites. Kind of a different fighting game where the special moves are done by holding down buttons under the control pad and then doing motions with the D-pad. You can see it's not running full speed. It is lagging a little bit. Still kind of playable, but I recommend trying maybe a different system for this one. And that's all there is to it. Remember, if you need any help with getting any of this to work, you can go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit for help. And that's all I have for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.